Alright, today we're going to be dividing fractions using fraction models. Our first problem we have is four-fifths divided by one-fourth. I'm going to create an area model based off of the denominators that I, that I have in front of me. So I'm going to make it four by five. So if you look carefully, there's five columns for the four-fifths, and there's four rows for the one-fourth. And I'm going to make two of these, one for each one of the fractions. They have to be exactly the same size in order for this to work. And it's a lot easier if we use quadrille paper. All the squares are set up, the lines are perfectly straight. So now I get down to my shading. I shade in four fifths. I'm using a highlighter, perhaps a colored pencil would be better so you can see the lines better. So there I have four fifths. Now on to my next one I have one fourth. Notice I'm going horizontally and, and be careful here. If I would have shaded in vertically that's not one fourth. That would be one fifth. Now the important part here is this. How many parts make up one fourth? count up the squares you have there. You have one, two, three, four, five. So five of those squares make up one-fourth. And the question you're going to ask yourself, it's a very basic one, and division. How many groups of five are there in four-fifths? So I'm going to go over to four-fifths and I'm going to circle my groups of five. There's one group of five. There's a second group of five. And one last group of five. And I'm left with one remainder. So let's go down to our problem. Four fifths divided by one fourth equals. Let's see, let me take out my fraction first. It's five because that's what I was. How many groups of five? Um, the one remainder. And how many groups are there in total? There's one, two, three. So my answer is three and one fifth. On to the next problem. For this problem, I have three over four divided by one over two. So three fourths divided by one half. I follow the same process. I'm going to create an area model for three fourths and one half used using the denominator. So it's going to be uh, four by two or, or two by four. So if you look carefully, there's four columns and there's two rows and they match up with the denominators. It'll make your life easier if you set it up that way. So three fourths divided by three fourths divided by one half. Now go ahead and take care of the shading. Shade in three fourths. and shade in the one half. Okay, now look at one half. That's your divisor. How many parts make up one half? It's a grand total of four. So once again, the question you're going to ask yourself, and it's always a good idea to write this down, is how many groups of four, how many groups of four are there in three-fourths? How many groups of four are there in three-fourths? So you circle the groups. There I have one. So that's my whole number, one, with two left over. Two, and my denominator is four, because in, that was my initial question. How many groups of four are there? So my answer is one and two-fourths. Simplest form, that would be one and one-half. Thank you. Hope that helps.